using positional parameters and scripts. Positional parameters are included at the command line after the executable or command that you are trying to run. For example, cd. I can give cd a parameter of dot dot and I navigate to the current directory, rather the parent directory. cd without any parameters of course takes me to the home directory. So the behavior of an executable is dependent upon its positional parameters. Let's say we write a script called args.sh. Put in our shebang. And inside our script, we can make use of notation that takes advantage of positional parameters, such as dollar sign one. Now watch what happens when we execute args.sh. I'll make sure it's executable. Nothing happens at first, but what if I type hello as a positional parameter to args.sh? Now hello is output. What if I gave two parameters to args.sh at this time? The behavior is the same. Why? As we look at the script, remember, we have called the script itself, the executable, the first positional parameter, and the second positional parameter. Dollar sign one accesses the value stored at the first positional parameter. In order to use a value stored at the second positional parameter, we would need a dollar sign and that number. Now what do you think this script will do if we type in args.sh hello world? Now both positional parameters are echoed. There are some other useful shorthands we can place into scripts. For instance, we could use the syntax dollar sign, hashtag, or number sign to display the number of positional parameters given. Here's the output from dollar sign hashtag. This can be particularly useful if you are expecting a certain number of parameters, say two or three. You could use an if statement to check that you have this many parameters. Let's rewrite this script to check the number of parameters.
Let's make it 2 for good measure. Now, if we do not have more than two parameters, if we do not have at least two parameters, then the script will exit. So dollar sign, number sign, will evaluate to the number of parameters, and if this number is not equal to or greater than two, then we echo not enough parameters and exit with an exit code of one. So far, so good. There's our exit code. Okay, seems to be working. Now let's do something with these parameters. Let's use a while loop. And what we want to illustrate here is an instance where we know we expect a certain number of parameters, but we're not sure how many parameters we might get. So before we had echo statements that echoed dollar sign one, dollar sign two, but what if you want to process every parameter that you get, but you don't know how many of the, those parameters there will be. Okay. So this says while dollar sign one, while the value stored at the position of the first parameter is not equal to the empty string. So in other words, as long as there is a parameter at dollar sign one, as long as there is a parameter in the first position. Well already this doesn't make sense. Shouldn't we always have a parameter at the first position as long as we began with it? Well, yes. But we have this operator called shift. And what shift does is it makes it so that the parameter that was at dollar sign one, the parameter that was first, gets shifted away, and then parameter stored at two is shifted to one, parameter stored at three is shifted to two, four to three, and so on. So that first parameter disappears. Two fills one, three fills two, and so on. And we'll illustrate that. So now our script will check to make sure that we have at least two parameters. And then we're going to shift those parameters as long as we have another parameter that can be shifted into that first position, represented by dollar sign one. Okay. And so we see that the position at dollar sign one was echoed every time. To see how shift works maybe a little more clearly, let's do one more thing. Go through the same loop, but instead of echoing dollar sign one, will echo dollar sign at sign, which will give us all of the parameters at any time. Let's see what happens.
there you can really see the shift. See how we have our four original parameters here. This is printed out. Remember, this is the value stored at dollar sign at sign. And then we shifted so that 2 became 1, 3 became 2, and so on. But this first one disappeared. And we did that all the way down until 4 reached the first position. And then finally, we were out. And the while loop looked at the value stored in the first position. There was nothing there. And we broke out of the while loop and ended the program. Okay, so shift gives us an opportunity to work with um, each parameter one at a time um, or with the remaining parameters if you have a use for that as well. Okay, so hopefully this has been a helpful script, uh, a helpful video to get you used to using positional parameters inside scripts.